Hello everyone, it's Tony. Now today I am a little sad, but I'm very excited because my son just got his first new apartment. And of course I'm helping him decorate. So on today's show, I wanna show you how I made these large modern art panel pieces to fit my son's style and his budget to hang in his new apartment. But first, I'd like to take a moment to tell you about our sponsor and my favorite place for creative learning, Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes where millions come to take their next step in their creative journey. With categories like illustration, photography, creative writing, filmmaking, freelancing, and so much more, Skillshare is designed to meet the needs of all learning levels. Plus, you can take classes at your own schedule. With everything that's going on today, a class that was really inspiring to me was Artivism. Create Inspiring Art for Change by Nicholas Smith. Along with teaching you his speed painting method, in his class, he teaches you how to find inspiration, how to translate your reactions into art, how to create art with a clear, effective message, and how to connect yourself through art. I think it's very important to use your talent to communicate your message to the world. Another Skillshare class for creating social change that I'm very excited about is a class by a legendary designer and professor at a school which I happen to be an alumna, the School of Visual Arts. It's called Make Art to Drive Change by Merkel Elish on color, type, and icons. In this class, he teaches you how to conduct the critical research needed to make truly original art how to use design tools, color, text, and icons for the greatest impact, and how to approach your work with a higher purpose. After taking this class, you'll be invigorated to take action for causes you care about, to use your skills for good, and to approach every project you take on in an entirely new way. Skillshare gives you unlimited, endless knowledge. It's ad-free and incredibly affordable. And right now, the first 1,000 of you to click on the link in the description below will get a free trial membership. There is so much we can do to transform the world we live in into a better place for all of us. And I think that starts by witnessing your own transformation. Now come with me as I attempt to transform my son's new place. So my son is starting from scratch. He has no furniture or anything. It's a blank slate, which is great. We're gonna start with working on the living room. So I asked him to send me photos of living rooms that he just loves so I could get a sense of his style. One thing I noticed in all of the photos is that he likes this modern, classy, monochrome look. Also in all the photos, there was some sort of dramatic wall feature. So I wanted to start by making a large wall piece or some sort of wall paneling that will give him a dramatic look in the living room and make his place look a lot bigger. Since he is in an apartment and we can't do anything permanent to the walls, I wanted to make something that he can hang and then take down later. So I did a few renderings of the living room of what it could look like with some textured silver panels. I showed them a few different configurations and I put them on the side of the TV since it would be easier to hang them. It would still make a nice bow dramatic statement and then he could take them down. And this is the configuration he decided to go with. So we're gonna make three silver textured art panel pieces to go on each side of the TV. Now in Walmart, I saw some simple black and white over the door mirrors for just $6. But they also had these that had a nicer frame with the same gray oak color that's in his furniture. So I decided to get six of these as a base for the panels. To make my art panel pieces, I'm also using six sheets of black poster board. I got these from Dollar Tree. And silver metallic finish spray paint. 
And to put everything together, I'm using a hot glue gun with Gorilla Glue Sticks. For hanging the pieces, you'll also need some picture hanging nails, a tape measure, a hammer, and a level. Okay, so for each panel, I'm going to use one full sheet of this black poster paper. And I want my pieces to have dimension and texture. So the easiest way to do this is to wrinkle this paper up. So I'm going to roll the paper in one direction. And as I roll it, I am going to squeeze it and bend it to create wrinkles and creases. Then I'm going to fold it and bend it in um, sections. And I'm doing this carefully because I don't want to tear the paper. That's why I'm not just crumbling it up. Then I'm going to unfold it and roll it in the other direction as I also bend it and crinkle it up. Just so that I have some nice organic, ununiform wrinkles all over. Now, like I said, if you just balled it up, it will tear the paper but I want my tears to be controlled, so I'm doing this gently. And I got this to where I think I have enough amount of wrinkles in it. So I'm gonna wrinkle up six sheets, one for each panel. And next I'm gonna take the sheets outside and I'm gonna spray a very light coat of silver spray paint on top of it. I want some of the black to show so it'll have dimension. So it's just going to be a really light coat. If you want, you can also spray a clear protective coating on top of this just so that the silver won't rub off if you touch it. But right now I'm just going to spray paint the top layer silver. After all my sheets are dry, I'm going to take them in. I'm going to lay one of the mirrors out and I'm going to start from the corners and tear pieces of the silver to go in each corner of the mirror. And it's best to make a small tear and then pull the two ends um, opposite directions from each other. That way you get a little bit of the rough edge of the white showing but not too much. Now I'm going to start laying this down in the top corner. I think this is a little too big, so I'm going to tear off a little bit here at the top. And I want the edges of my pieces to lay flat on the mirror. So it's going to be flat around the edges. I'm going to quickly put some hot glue on the back of this piece all the way around, not too close to the edges. But I'm going to lay that down quickly. The edges will be flat against the mirror and the other side I'm going to bunch it up a little bit so that it has some dimension and the center part of it bulges out a little. So I'm going to just continue to tear pieces and put them along the edges of the mirror. And when I run out of straight edges on the paper I can just cut a line down the paper to make a straight edge to finish the edge of the mirrors. Also, I can crinkle this up a bit more if I need to. I'm overlapping the pieces and making sort of a 3D collage. After all the edges are done, we're going to start tearing smaller pieces for the center. And I'm not covering all of the center completely. I want some of the mirror to peek through. So I'm making sure each piece I bunch up so that there's a bulge in the center. And I'm overlapping the torn paper, but like I said, I'm leaving some spaces in between so that the mirror will show through. And this is what one sheet of poster paper. When it's all done, you get this sort of torn industrial metal look with some bits of mirror showing through that gives it some sparkle and added dimension. Now here's another option you can try. I did this by cutting different leaf shapes. I also used rope to make this vine. I spray painted it silver, spray painted the leaves silver, and glued those to the mirror. 
Now, I really like the way these look as panels, but my son thought these were just a little too flowery for him. So we're going with the torn metal industrial look. So this was pretty simple. It didn't take me long to make six of these and now they're ready to hang in my son's apartment. Before I hang these, I wanna make a template to show where the holes are so it'll make it easier for me to hang them on the wall. Each of the pieces has these four holes in the back for um, hanging on the door, but um, I'm gonna hang these on the wall. So I'm gonna use two sheets of paper and line them up so that they're the exact width of the mirror. I'm gonna tape those together. And then I'm gonna find where the top center of the first hole is from the top edge. And then I'm going to draw a line and actually punch a hole right at that top center of the opening on the frame. I'm also going to find the other edge of the top center and do the same thing. I'm going to put a circle and punch a hole there. Now I can use this piece of paper, this template, to tape it on the wall reversed and I'll know where to mark where to put my nails. Okay, now let's take these to the apartment and hang them. Okay, so I put a mark on the wall to where I want the panels to start about 82 inches from the molding and I know that the top of my paper is the top edge of my frame and I'm going to lightly tape my template to the wall. I'm using a level on the top edge of the template to adjust it to make sure that it is straight and I'm going to put some circle marks through those holes in the template so that I know where to hang my nails. So for each picture I'm using two of these little hangers that come in a picture hanging kit and I'm going to hammer the nail into this hanging piece so that the hook part is right above the center of that circle that I marked and I'm doing that for the second marked circle and now I'm going to align the frame up so that the hooks go into the holes on the back to hang my next panel, I'm going to space it about a card space apart. So I'm using this business card. I'm going to mark where I want to start the next panel. Then I'm going to start by that mark and I'm going to measure up again 82 inches. And I realized that I hung the first panel on the second hose down. That's why this template looks a little lower than the um, first panel. So I'll just make sure I'll put all the rest of the hooks in the second set of holes. So once again, I use the level to straighten out the template, mark the holes, put the nails in, and now I can hang my second piece. So I just continued this process to hang all six pieces, and I think they turned out really great. This was a pretty simple project, but it gives you a nice dramatic bold look. This costs about $18 a panel to make, but if you use the regular black and white mirror frames, it'll cost you about $7 to make each panel. But most importantly, my son loves it. Plus it's fitting within his budget. All his furniture starting to come in, we're getting his rooms together, and we are definitely working towards that sophisticated, modern, yet cozy look that he loves. Need a little more detailed instructions on some of these projects? On my Etsy store, for just a few dollars, you can get instant digital downloads of full color step-by-step -step instructions with templates for some of your favorite projects. And check out my Amazon page where you can pick up my multi-surface acrylic metallic paint back in stock with eight beautiful shimmering colors. You can mix millions of colors and create endless home beauty. 
for indoor and outdoor projects. And while you're there, pick up my Book of Elegant Home Crafts Volume 1. Put all your favorite projects together in one big beautiful colored step-by-step -step instruction book. On my Amazon page, you'll see all my favorite crafting tools and supplies used on this show, and you can add them all to your cart for the one-click, fast and easy shopping and delivery convenience of Amazon. I'll be working every day to make crafting fun and easy for you. Follow me at Your House of Home and Your House of Home TV on all social media for extra home, food, and gardening tips.